Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to make changes to the ebook version of your KDP children's book. If you followed my previous video about how to create your ebook version of your KDP children's book, and now you want to make changes, here's how you can do that. As an example, I'm going to use the ebook for my children's book, Mouse's Great Discovery. The first thing I'm going to do is I have my Mobi file that I had originally uploaded to Amazon. And then I'm going to open up Kindle Kids Book Creator on my computer. And I'm going to go to open an existing ebook. And now I'm going to find that Mobi file. And down here where it says files of type, I'm going to change that to Mobi. And then I can grab my Mobi file and open. And now here is where we're going to do the save as. So when Kindle Kids Book Creator opens the Mobi file, it's going to need to extract all of the files, all the images and the CSS and the HTML files and put them somewhere. So that's what we're doing here. So we're going to create a folder and I'll name this updated ebook and I'll just save it on my desktop and I'm going to click save. And now we have that whole ebook that we had worked on before and we have all of our text pop ups and everything. So now if we have a new image that we want to drop in, I'll show you how to do that. If you made changes to the artwork, then you're going to need to save out those individual PDF files to bring in rather than saving out the whole PDF like you did last time. So if you used Photoshop, then you're just going to save out whichever artboard that you changed. I'll do an example here. So let's say I want to edit this one with the owl. I'll make some kind of change to the artwork. So let's say we want to change the owl from purple to a different color. So I'll just do that really fast. Let's say we want him to be pink. And let's also say that we're going to change some of the text. I'll add another word here and maybe here. And now, since this is the page I changed, that's the one I'm going to want to export. And I'm going to make sure I have this artboard selected. So I'm going to click on the title up here, Artboard 12. And you'll see how now there's a bounding box around the entire artboard. And right here, the words Artboard 12 are actually highlighted. You could also do that by clicking on the artboard title over here as well. So we have artboard 12 selected and now I'm going to go file export artboards to files and I'll pick where I want to export it. And we're going to make sure export selected artboards is checked and for the file type I'm going to pick a PDF and I'm going to use JPEG, but I'll turn the quality all the way up and click run. If you're doing this in Canva, then what you're going to do is just find the page that you want to change and you'll just do share, download, PDF print, make sure you check flatten, and then you're only going to select that one page that you want to update and then you can click download. Now I can go back to Kindle Kids Book Creator and I'll come down to that page and I'm going to click on that page and now I'm going to do add page. So I'll pick that page which is right here and I'm going to do open. I'm going to pick before page six. So it's going to be inserted right between page five and six and I'll click add page. So you'll see that it inserted it right before the page we want to replace. And this is actually really helpful because we don't need to recreate the pop up box. We can actually just grab it and bring it over here. And then you can resize it if you need to. And then I'll click on view pop up. And here we're going to make any changes to the text that we need to so that it matches the text that's on the page. 
So we had made that change where instead of big round eyes, we say big wide round eyes. And then they help him to see well, even in the dark. So there's our changes. And then I'll just move this back over it and size it. And now we have that pop-up done. So now we can delete this other page that we're replacing. So I'm going to have this selected and I'll click delete page. And then over here, we want to delete the right side only because that's the one that we're replacing. So I'll do delete page and save. And now you can see our new page on the left and then the page on the right is still the page that was on the right before and everything is matching up. Now, if you have any other changes you wanna make, like to the book settings, you can click on book settings and go to metadata. And you can change any of the stuff here that needs to be changed. You can change the cover image. So if you updated the cover, you can export that as a JPEG and upload it. And then when all that's done, you can just save it out the same way that you did last time. So we'll go to file, save, and then we'll do file save for publishing and click save. And now that's done as we can see down here. And now the new Mobi file is going to be inside the updated ebook folder. Make sure you don't mix it up with the old Mobi file. So I have the old Mobi file here and I can look at when it was modified and that was actually like an hour ago. So make sure that you're looking at the updated one, which this one was modified just now because it has the time here. And it's also in my updated ebook folder. So now I can just go to my Amazon bookshelf and I'll find my children's book and the Kindle ebook. And I'm going to click the three dots and do edit book content. And then I'll just come down here and click upload manuscript. And then I'm going to find that new Mobi file that I just saved out and I'll click open. And when that's all done, then you can come down here and launch the previewer and then you can publish. So that's it for making changes to your Amazon Mobi file. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.